Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Text Bazaar. It's me Mangal. So I'm here with another video. So uh, uh, if you guys having uh, trouble uh, installing Windows 11 uh, with, uh, in, uh, in the new generation laptop, um, I'm here with a new video. So uh, let's jump into the video. So uh, I'm gonna put this in, uh, insert uh, insert the uh, pen drive and uh, boot it. So this is the Dell. So I'm gonna press uh, F12 for boot uh, boot menu, and uh, I'm gonna choose uh, USB drive. So this is the uh, i5 11 generation laptop, and. Um, Usually, uh, in 11 generation laptop or 12 generation laptop, uh, uh, the uh, system configuration is changed, and uh, uh, the, and uh, you're not gonna find uh, any drives to boot it. So uh, you'll have to uh, put a driver for that. So I'm gonna show show you the the issue for that one. Uh, I'm gonna show you the main issue about this one. So I. I'm just uh, clicking next. Okay, next and custom. So this is my hard drive. So I'm just plug out. So I just re refresh it. This is my hard drive. I, I just removed it. So this is the issue. So uh, you're not gonna find any hard drive to boot in. So what is the issue? So. This is the issue. So you're not gonna find any drives to install the Windows. So the issue is uh, you're gonna have to uh, install uh, IRS driver. So you have to, uh, this system configuration is uh, in the RAID configuration. So either you have two options, either you have to switch uh, in AHCI mode or you have to uh, install uh, RAID uh, IRS driver. So I already downloaded here in uh, from the site uh, so uh, in the in the hard drive so i i put it and locate the driver so for you guys uh, so I, I just plug in my hard drive so for you guys i I, I put this driver uh, driver uh, link in the description so you guys can download from the site and uh, uh, use this and uh, uh, load the driver so when you have a driver just uh, simply click the load driver and browse and go to your hard drive or whatever drive you have so uh, my drive is uh, hard drive is C drive so I have already downloaded this driver so uh, the, the driver name is Dell IRST. So whatever laptop or whatever brand or laptop is, uh, no problem. Um, uh, Dell Dell driver or SR or SP, whatever is the driver is uh, can uh, uh, it's uh, it's okay. It will take. So just locate your driver, Dell IRST driver, and go for VMD and click this one and click OK. And you have to, you can choose uh, both and simply click, click next. You have two options. You can also go, go to your bias and you can switch it to, to, to the ASCI mode. But, but uh, the best way to, to go with the default configuration, the default configuration come up, come up with the company is the red configuration. So go to your default configuration is in the red configuration so that the optimum performance of your laptop will come. So uh, now we can see uh, this is the first one is my hard drive. So just I'll, I'll plug out. This one is my hard drive. Just I plug, plug out. So now you can see the hard drive it's on so we can now uh, install uh, fresh windows to the hard drive or ssd so uh, i walk through you uh, with uh, this is the very common and very simple issue of uh, new generation laptop this is not the problem it's only the information i showed you so uh, this is the 
um, it got uh, two uh, you know, hard drives. Uh, one one is uh, uh, NVMe SSD and one is uh, one TB hard drive. So before uh, before that, it it won't show any of that one. So now uh, when we put uh, install a uh, red driver, IRST driver, it's on uh, both the SSD and a hard drive. So we can uh, now install uh, Windows to that. So uh, it's very easy. So I hope you guys like it. So so now you can create a drive and click next, and you can install Windows. So I hope you guys uh, like the videos and. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel please do, do subscribe and uh, follow my channel and do like uh, click like button and uh, please hit the like, bell icon uh, if you have um, if, if i upload any videos you can get uh, notified and you can watch uh, watch in time so do support my channel uh, until then uh, take care bye